victory. A sad follow-up now to a story out of Santa Maria. A woman attacked inside her home on July 24th, died on Saturday, Saturday possibly from her injuries. And those who knew 64-year-old Marilyn Ferris are devastated. Many of them have reached out to News Channel 3. Nia Wong joins us live from Santa Maria with the latest on the story. And Nia, police have a man identified as Victor Aureliano Martinez in custody. That's right. Police still aren't releasing a whole lot of information about him right now, but we were tipped off that he may have been a field worker at Eat Sweet Farms in Santa Maria. And a representative from the company did say a man with a very similar name did work there last season. But our information on Martinez right now is very limited. As for Marilyn Ferris, uh, her family told us she died from a coronary embolism on Saturday afternoon. And today I spoke with the North County Rape Crisis Center on how to prevent further attacks like this from happening. They told me North County had 500 reported rape cases in 2014, and 85% of them, the victim usually knew the attacker, which they say made this incident an odd one. Ferris reportedly did not know Martinez. And despite Ferris having been a long-term resident, many of her neighbors tell me they didn't know her. That's why the associate director of the Rape Crisis Center says being on the lookout is all the more important. Sexual assault and child abuse is a community problem. Um, we need to speak up when something doesn't feel right, when something doesn't look right. Make a call to law enforcement. Let them investigate it. We know Martinez will be back in court for a preliminary hearing set for next Thursday. Right now, investigators aren't saying whether Ferris's death was as a direct result from her attack 10 days ago, but they are expecting an autopsy this Thursday. We're live in Santa Maria, Nia Wong, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you.